What's up all you mentees, this is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and join me for an overview of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW Collection Volume 11. Man, that's a mouthful from IDW, so please stay tuned. And welcome back everybody. Now, before I get started, here's a quick look at the spine and the back of the book. Uh, now, one thing to note is that there has been a price increase in these oversized hardcovers. These were originally $49.99, and now they are $59.99. It's about $10, and honestly, not really an uh, increase in the page count, but just the price. But you know what? They've been $49.99 for as long as they've been coming out, as well as Transformers, so... I guess it was due for a price increase, as much as I hate to admit it. But let's talk about this book. By the way, if you notice, the spine has a little yellow tone to it, almost like a yellow glow to the letters right here. Volume 11 up at the top, and it is gray. As you know, most of these are different colors. I think the last one was either pink. Yeah, it was pink, and then before that it was yellow, then purple, then some kind of light yellow or orange, but I love the fact that all the spines are different colors. That's one of my favorite things about these IDW collections. And it features Casey Jones on the cover, as well as a full body shot there in the back. Now, let's talk about what's collected in here. Let's get this open. And we have for these gray bookend pages, a shot of the Rat King right there, who plays a big role here. Uh, my favorite mutants right there, Mondo Gecko and my boy Mikey. Here's all the people that put the book together. And, of course, the table of content. Now, this is really important because this is the only place where you see who wrote the stories, who drew the book. Because when you get into the actual comics, you get the cover art right here. The credits or the cover art but there are no titles or credits throughout the actual comic books so the only place to really see it is here as far as like who the colorists are and who the main artists are of course from the main series we have kevin eastman bobby kernow and tom waltz and from the universe we have different writers writing different stories but this all kicks off with universe 16 and that's teenage mutant ninja turtles universe number 16 by the way and i'll talk about what else the contents are actually let's do that first let's talk about the contents first so this collects like i mentioned teenage mutant ninja turtles universe issues 16 through 22 and then teenage mutant ninja turtles the idw original series 76 through 84 and that's the ongoing series and then we have the macro series donatello so what's the difference right like what, what is the universe universe is think of Uncanny X-Men and X-Men. It's a spin-off of the original series. It is still in continuity, it is still in the same universe, it's all canon, it's just little side stories. However, when there's crossovers or where there's big events like this that sets up the Triceraton storyline, they are included in here. And then Universe also has little backup stories, too, that are usually collected right after the main Universe stories. Um, I want to say this one's written by Chris Marno. And then the backup little stories that we have back here. It's an awesome shot. Okay, I guess they're collected after the main story arc. And Freddie Williams uh, II provides the covers for the Universe titles. And this is pretty much just a flashback of the Triceratons getting their, pretty much their freedom and how they, they come back to Earth and how they're coming to Earth. And of course, when they come to Earth, it's, it's a peaceful way of coming. And when they come in peace, of course, they're greeted by the Earth Protection Force because they're not going to let just anybody come into Earth. And the lineup of that has changed a little bit and who is with them. As well as the Foot Clan, but I can't go into detail as to what's happened because for anybody that has not read this, I don't want to spoil it. Just know that things are different for the Foot. And that happened a couple volumes ago. So we also have, the, like I said, the ongoing series. Yeah, here we go. Here's some of the ongoing series right here. Kevin Eastman, of course, co-writing it with Tom Waltz and Bobby Kernow. So we have a lot of different characters making a return appearance 
through here. This whole backstory here between the Triceratons and the Utroms and exact or Utroms, I guess, depending on how you want to pronounce it, and how that relationship all fell apart. And like I mentioned, we have returning characters here. I'm a big fan of both series, but of course, the main big draw to me has always been the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ongoing. The story of Rat King and his brothers and sisters, if you know who they are, awesome. If you don't, what are you waiting for? Find out. Um, this is the best interpretation of this character I've ever seen. It's a pretty unique look and a unique take on the character of the Rat King. And he's been building up for a long time, for many years. All the way back from TMNT IDW volume, I want to say like 4 or 5 when he first appeared. And it's been building up for a long time to see what he wants. And it's always chaos. It's never about playing both good or evil sides. It's about the chaos. One thing you may have noticed as I'm flipping through these pages, by the way, is the addition of the variants. They're usually on the opposite side of the regular cover. So most of the time, like either at DC or at Marvel, these variants are usually kept in the back. And of course, I'm censoring this final page because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But here's the variants right here. And now we're getting into the macro series of Donatello. And this cover right here is David Peterson, a guy that I wish would come back and finish out his Mouse Guard series. And the series is written by Paul Allure, so I don't want to spoil what this is. But as you can tell, it, they've got different artwork. Some of the artists have been working with the creators for the longest time. And then we also have new artists that have joined the ranks of the Ninja Turtles. Let's look back here if there's any extras. And, can't spoil that page, but there are no extras. As far as the build of these particular books, each one of these come with their own ribbon. And the ribbon usually is the color of whatever the spine is, but for the, some reason they went with gold. And the other thing I was gonna say, if you've seen my overviews of all these books of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW collections, for some reason when they started reprinting these, they did take away the ribbon. So don't be surprised if you're buying a volume one now that it does not include a ribbon. So just keep that in mind. As far as the binding, at least this printing right here is glued binding. So that's why there's a little bit of gutter loss when I'm flipping through here. And why that spine is so flat. See what I mean by some gutter loss because of that glued binding right here? By the way, the book has 392 pages. And what I meant by this printing right here is that IDW has stated that this book will be back in print. Right now, it's out of stock everywhere, whether you're getting it at CheapGraphicNovels.com, Amazon, or In Stock Trades, Tales of Wonder. Everybody's out of stock. However, um, they are going to supply more copies of this book. Whether it has a ribbon or not, I don't know. But... That, as they say, is that. Now, when this book comes back in stock, don't forget to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off. Retail price, Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging, so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition, and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first-time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Me Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for US customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest books with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the contents, the page count, and the build of this hardcover. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking up the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW run in oversized hardcover format or trade paperback, or if you're just picking up the single issues, or if you've never read it. And if you haven't, you really need to do yourself a favor and check them out. Again, this was The Uncanny Omar. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Redbubble and on Patreon. Great ways to support the channel if you can do so. More importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.